Hey Dumbbells, it's Dave Decide. Today I have another doozy of a video on what is going on. We need to talk about what is believed to be YG and Hype's statement over V and Jenny. The internet is taking this on a whole other level. And also they want Taeyeon to quit. I also want to get into a Blackpink producer and what happened there. So, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. The web is on plenty spilling mug merch and let's get into it. The first thing that we need to talk about is Blackpink and what happened recently. So, Blackpink is in their famous era. Who am I kidding? Their pinky alone would be more famous than anyone that exists. But anywho, they are doing their comeback. They have their song Pink Venom and in about a week they will release their title track alongside their album. And this is very exciting. I will be reacting to their new song Shut Down and possibly songs from the album on my Patreon. So if you want to join me there and check that out and fangirl with me, I will link it below. The album track list have even come out and we see that there are eight songs. This was definitely controversial because Blackpink hadn't had a real release in two years, but then we finally get a comeback and it's eight songs. And we already heard two of them, Ready for Love and Pink Venom. So it's six new songs. And we will probably get through those very quickly before we would want more songs. Of course, the controversy isn't that it's eight songs necessarily, because if it was eight songs that were very amazing and awesome eight songs, then it's good and that works. Although we don't know what the, the six new songs sound like yet, there was reasons to believe that there were actually more than eight songs that were being made. But YG or whatever decided only to include those eight songs. For months leading up to the release and even before Blackpink even talked about making an album, Ryan Tedder, lead singer of One Republic and also writer of a lot of Beyonce, Ariana Grande and Rihanna songs had come out in several interviews to talk about how excited he was to work with Blackpink. There were even photos of Jenny and Rosé in the studio working on the music in LA. Ryan during these interviews seemed very excited to create this music and continuously talked about how Jenny and Rosé are so talented. He even mentioned something that was shocking, saying that Jenny and Rosé had participated in writing the new song and Ryan just kind of pushed who they were and made that into a reality, describing the sound as very black pink. Ryan had worked on three songs with them and they believed that he would make the album and said worst case scenario he just has one song on the album. I also assumed he wouldn't say anything unless he really had big reason to believe it was going to happen because it would be a little embarrassing to brag and talk about working with black pink and never actually seeing that song happen. However, obviously when we see the track list now, Ryan is nowhere in the credits and he is not on the album at all. I think there were also rumors of Ariana Grande and Blackpink and then Benny Blanco also. There were a lot, and there were a lot of speculation, but out of those speculation, there were people like what I just mentioned that had kind of more or less really hinted at it, but I guess it's still speculation. But Ryan just straight up said it. I did write with the girls themselves. I did, I think one of the only sessions they've done outside of Korea, um, we did in LA. And of course, this was upsetting because how on earth does YG choose a producer who has worked with Beyonce and they say, nah, cut that song. The only reason I can think of is they can't afford to pay the royalties, but it makes no difference. If they release 10 songs, then they'd still make the money from the eight songs as they normally would. And then they'd also have two songs made by an iconic producer. People are also upset and maybe more upset that the three alleged songs had writing credit from people who we would love to see write, which are Jen Rosé and that talent will be hidden from us. Ryan posted on Instagram a reposted photo with the words saying that being a songwriter is like being a seagull among many seagulls in a parking lot and one french fry is thrown. This idea that you are competing with hundreds of other producers to have your song picked for the album. And just because you do all this work doesn't mean anything. People think that this was a direct response to the album tracklist as this post was believed to have been posted after the tracklist was released and it was believed Ryan was very upset and this was kind of his way of being like a by YG. The frustration that I have is that it's not like the album had 20 songs and they were like we can't put more. They can just give us the extra songs. I don't understand why they keep them and then just release eight. Now on the other side people are allowed to get upset and mad over this but it is typical for the industry. I remember I had a thing with a TV show and I had my family around the TV to watch the show to see my little parents and they cut it out but they did put it on social media just not on TV and it was like two days of filming. So this this happens a lot and oftentimes things don't even see the light of day regardless of the amount of money and production that was put into it. Of course, it seems like whatever YG or Blackpink releases, there will be some backlash and I understand as it seems like it's very underwhelming for a lot of people, especially if you have waited two years for something. You expect it to be amazing. Some netizens were saying things like it doesn't even matter what YG does because when Blackpink does a comeback, we still eat it all up and it goes number one. My issue isn't that 
that though. I think they deserve to be number one. And if they aren't number one, then they would maybe never get a comeback again. My issue is that why is it that Blackpink gets a number one, breaks records every time, but still isn't making more music? If I was a label and I knew that every time I pushed this group, I'd make a lot of money, why wouldn't I want to push the group more? Do I not like money? Maybe it's a personal reason. And they're like, wealth is scary. However, within that last day or so, some shocking updates on the V and Jenny situation did happen. It was reported by several Korean media sites that YG and Hive had released a statement. However, then from other Korean media sites, it claimed that YG and Hive were both still silent. So maybe YG and Hive gave some news sites the exclusive and then others were left in the dark or the news sites made it up. I don't know. But take this with a grain of salt. There was reported that YG said that it was difficult to determine if the relationship was real due to it being their personal life. Of course, then that means it could be real as it's believed if it was fake, they would be able to easily deny the fakeness. But if they can't, then it could be real. Again, this is all alleged and just what people are saying online. And we don't even know if the statement is real. The internet began to be flooded with Tan leave Hive and Jenny leave Hive. And this is very interesting to me because people are upset at how the members are being treated by the public. So obviously Tan getting death threats and Jenny getting those threats. And people just want the two to go their separate ways as they feel the label is just treating them not well. However, I think the labels are treating them well. The fact that if it is real, they're allowed to date, that alone is beautiful. Of course, more people were upset at how Jenny gets treated and thinks that she deserves better. And honestly, we will never know. We can wait and see if Blackpink resigns when their contract ends. And if they don't, then we know something internally was wrong. But I don't know if she is particularly upset at YG as that was the label that she auditioned for. So maybe the girls knew to some extent what they were getting into. I think the rumors and even the alleged statement is just that, a rumor and an alleged statement. I would love for the two to come out and say it themselves, but also I've noticed with Jenny specifically, once the rumors became public, it seemed like the relationships that she has starts to end. And I think that this happens a lot with a lot of newer relationships. When people start to talk about it more, then suddenly it starts to end. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's jinxing it or something. I really hope the members, if they really do like each other and if they are dating, that they can find that peace with each other and ignore all the hate. It's kind of romantic to see all the hate online, but then be like, I don't care what they say, I like you. So anywho, I do hope for the best and I'm so sorry for the recent increase of V and Jenny. Hopefully there are no more updates on this and it is what it is. I hope their safety is not in danger and actions are taken if the photos were indeed hacked from Jenny's phone. And maybe we'll hear more about that in the near future. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos, a link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you, bye.